Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1026. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1025 to 1027, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a data set with people voting yes or no, and you can vote more than one time. Our goal here in this video is to conditionally format the entire row when it encounters the first occurrence of a person who voted yes. Now, in this video, 1026, we're going to do conditional formatting the whole row. Uh, 1027, we'll actually look at formulas for counting unique, both array formulas and a simple helper column. All right, so conditional formatting. This one, there's not a built-in feature for it. So you've got to use a logical true-false formula. Remember, for conditional formatting, every cell needs to get something that says true, you need a format, or false, don't get the formatting. All right, so instead of highlighting, opening up the dialog box, and building the formula there, which is really small. I'm going to come over here, and here's a parallel size range. We'll build our formula, copy it over and down. And when we see trues in the rows that we want, we know we got our formula. All right, we're going to use the count to ifs. And we're actually going to have three conditions. There's three columns. So we're going to be saying, is it a yes? Is it the first occurrence? And is it? the first name, the first time we've seen the first name, and is it the first time we've seen the last name? Again, when we get down here, Sue Tran needs to be formatted. But here, we uh, would see a yes, a Sue, and a Tran. And that would count as the second occurrence there. So we're using count ifs. And ultimately, when we finish this, we're only interested in the count ifs that have a 1. But there's a trick here. We're doing the whole row. So we're really going to have to think carefully about cell references. All right, so the first criteria range we need to think about whether it's yes or no. I'm going to type B3 in colon, and then a comma. The criteria is going to be yes. Every single cell, that needs to be locked. So I'm going to hit uh, the F4 key to lock both the column and the row reference. Now, let's come back to this. Now. It would be easy if I was just copying it down. I would just go like this. Lock the first one. In fact, we can even do that a second, and not lock the second one. That means as I copy down, this B3 will go to B4, B5, et cetera. Let's just see how this works. Control Enter and copy down. All right, So you can see how it's expanding. But I also need to copy this formula to the side. Now notice. Um, I probably am not going to run any run into any problems with the yes, but I don't want it moving like that. I want it to only be stuck in the B column. So I need to come back to this formula, and I need to lock the second part, but only the uh, the column reference, the letter. So I'm going to hit F4 one, two, three times. Now the B is locked not the 3. Control Enter when I copy it down. Notice the expandable range still works here because the 3 is allowed to move to 7. But here, over here, it's stuck, right? Because the B was not allowed to move to C and then D. So we're going to have to add two more conditions with the exact same criteria range type of cell reference setup, comma. I'm looking at first name, colon, comma. And here's the trick. Since we're counting uh, unique for the this column, I'm going to have the criteria as chin. right? As I copy down, it'll be looking at the criteria. It'll move. Right, right now, it's going to count one chin. Down here, it'll count two. But check this out, F4, and lock the column reference. Oh, and this one right here, since I don't want to want to copy it to the side to move, I'm also going to have to add a column locker there. So F4, 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 lock the column reference, but not the row. Finally, I need to do the same thing for the last name. I'm going to lock it in all directions, only the column, the D, and only the column reference D. So now Control Enter, copy it over and down. Now what am I interested in? I'm interested in only in the ones. Now I've highlighted the whole range and the active cell. I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to edit this. I'm going to say, are you equal to 1? Now I've used a comparative operator, that right there. So it'll spit. it's a logical formula that will spit out trues and falses. The edited formula, I want to repopulate it into the entire highlighted range. So I hold Control and Enter. And there's my patterns of trues and falses for 
highlighting, conditionally formatting, only the first occurrence of a yes by a particular person who has a uh, first and last name. All right now, I've I copied this in edit mode, right? Control C. Come over here. I go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or I can do Alt O D, Alt N in uh, older versions, or if I can remember it, Alt H. I should be learning this by now. H L N. And then arrow, 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 tab, and control V. Format, add any format you want. This will conditionally format only the unique first and last name when it sees a yes. Um, and let's see if we change this. All right, so that would become a uh, unique item, unique first and last name. I'm going to control Z. In our next video, we'll see how to look at a list like this and count both with an array formula and a simple helper column. See you next video.